a body in shm starts from mean position what do you mean by starts from mean position means its initial phase or epoch is equal to zero so the presentation of a displacement of a particle in simple harmonic motion is y equal to a sin omega t plus or minus phi this phi is given as zero as it starts from main position so what will be my equation y equal to a sin omega t in this case that's the equation for us in that case we need to find out what is the time taken to move from main position to half the amplitude so this is the main position this is the extreme position if you move from here to here amplitude is a i want to move somewhere from main position to half the amplitude y equal to half the maximum of displacement that is a by how much time takes for that is the question being asked so in the place of y i shall write a by 2 so a and a can be cancelled 1 by 2 equal to sin omega t you know this is sin sin of something is 1 by 2 that is uh, when the angle is equal to 30 degree you know that right so omega t is equal to sin of uh, i can write uh, this that implies sin omega t can be written like 1 by 2 is sin 30 that is sin pi by 6 so these sins can be cancelled on both sides and omega t can be written like pi by 6 omega is 2 pi by t and t small t equal to pi by 6 so this can be cancelled so if you rearrange the terms capital t is equal capital t is equal to Move into small t. That implies small t equal to capital T by 12. What do you mean by that? Time taken to move from main position to this place of the amplitude takes time t. That is equal to 1 by 12th of the total time period. That's one part of the problem. Now you have another question. What's the another question is? what's the time taken to move from main position to amplitude so the next question is in the main position amplitude this displacement equal to amplitude itself how much time it takes is the question right so in the equation y equal to a sin omega t in place of y we shall write a itself and a will pass So one equal to sine omega. You know sine ninety is one. So one can be written like sine ninety means pi by sine omega. So both the side sines can be cancelled. Omega t equal to pi by two. Omega can be written two pi by capital T times pi into small t that is pi by. Two. So pi and pi can be cancelled. Then small t equal to total time period by four. So to move from here to here, we take a time of a one by four. Now there is the last question, third question. From a by two to a. See, pretty carefully. I will draw the diagram again for you. From main position to extreme position to amplitude, we have found that it takes a time of one by four. here from mean position to half the amplitude that is up to here we found that it takes a time of t by 12 now he want us to find out from a by 2 to a from here to here how much time it takes this total time minus this first time so from next question is Um, a by two to a. How much time takes is 
from here to here mean to amplitude is 3 by 4 from mean to half the amplitude is 3 by 12 so 3 by 4 minus 3 by 12 so that is 12 is LCM 3t minus 2t 2t by 12 or t by 6 so it takes a time from here to here it takes a time of uh, t by so we can solve the problem further, right? Thanks for watching.